During this lesson you will be required to fill out a worksheet. I recommend you read through the worksheet before viewing the lesson. In order to give you time to do this, you can use the pause button at the bottom of the screen. Learning outcomes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to state what part of the building regulations deal with thermal insulation, list three advantages of good insulation, state what a yield value is, state which is better, a higher or a lower yield value, state the formula for finding out a yield value, state what a K value is. Thermal insulation. Part L of the building regulations deals uh, with thermal insulation. Thermal insulation may be defined as a barrier to the flow of heat from an area of high temperature to an area of low temperature. In buildings this flow is usually from the inside to the outside. Heat is generated inside, travels through the wall to the outside. Advantages of good insulation 1. A reduction in the rate of heat loss 2. Gives you lower fuel costs 3. Lower capital costs for heating equipment 4. Reduction of condensation and drafts. 5. Less maintenance and replacement costs of heating equipment. 6. Conservation of diminishing fossil fuel reserves. Questions. State what part of the building regulations deal with thermal insulation. There's three advantages of good insulation. U values. A U value is a unit of measurement which determines the amount of heat loss per square meter through part of a building. The amount of heat loss. So for example through walls, floors, roofs, etc. Heat is generated within the house and then obviously we're losing heat through the walls, the floors and the roof. U values. The greater the U value, the greater the heat loss. Here we have an example down below of a standard cavity wall. We can see the internal leaf and the external leaf. There's no insulation in the cavity of this particular wall, so the, the U value is quite high. So let's say, for example, the U value is 5. Heat is generated inside the building, and because the U value is quite high and there's no insulation, the heat passes through the wall fairly quickly and into the open. However, if we introduce some insulation into the cavity, this can lower the U value, let's say for example to 1. Now what happens, because the U value is lower, less heat passes through the wall. Therefore a low U value is preferred. So the greater the U value, the greater the heat loss. The lower the U value, the lower the heat loss. A U value is a unit of measurement and is expressed as watts per meter squared degree Celsius. Watts per meter squared degree Celsius. Questions. State what a U value is. State which is better, a higher or a lower view value. Calculating U values. The formula for finding out a U value is 1 divided by R equals U. So 1 divided by R equals the U value. R is the total resistance of the materials to heat passing through them. So 
so again here we have a section through a typical uh, cavity wall we have uh, the, we have uh, the block in our leaf we have a skim coat on the inside of the uh, in, uh, block in our leaf then we have insulation in the cavity we have the air space uh, in the cavity then we have the block out a leaf and then we have a sand cement finish on the uh, on the outside of that so each of these materials has a resistance uh, or a K value right so they each have a resistance to heat passing through them or what we call a K value so a K value is expressed as watts uh, per meters degree Celsius here's a list of K values for the materials used in a cavity wall the K value of brickwork is 0.77 the K value of block work is 1.33. The K value of urethane insulation is 0 0.025. The K value of plaster is 0.18. The K value of the outer surface is 0.123. So the outer, outer surface also has a resistance to the heat passing through it. The K value for the inner surface, which also has a resistance to the heat passing through it, is 0 0.053. The K value of the cavity space is 0.176. So calculating U values. Here we have a typical table that shows us how to calculate a U value. So first of all, along the top of the table we have uh, uh, the titles of uh, six to six columns. So first of all, in the first column we have the component. The second we have the symbol, the third we have the K value, the fourth is the thickness, uh, the fifth is the resistivity, uh, which is equal to the thickness divided by the K value, and then finally we have the total resistivity. So the components, so we have the inner surface of the wall, the plaster, the block work, the urethane insulation, the cavity space, the brick work on the outer leaf, and then the outer surface, and then down the bottom down we'll have the total resistance. So we can see here the K value is expressed as uh, watts per meter degree Celsius. Then we have the thickness of the material, which is expressed in meters. And then we have the resistivity, which is the thickness uh, divided by the K value. And this gives us, uh, this is a meter squared uh, um, uh, per degree Celsius, uh, degree Celsius per watt. And then we have the total resistivity, which is meter squared uh, degree Celsius per watt. So the inner surface, the symbol is RI, so this is the inner resistivity, um, is 0 0.053. So we simply put that into the totals, uh, the totals column. Next we have is the plaster, and the symbol is K for the K value. And the K value of this is 0 0.18, and its thickness is 0 0.016 of a meter, which is 16 mil. So we uh, divide the thickness uh, by the K value. Okay, so it's 0 0.016 divided by 0 0.18 gives us 0 0.088. So we just stick that into the front, into the uh, total, uh, the total's column there. Next we have is the block work. Again, the symbol is K for the K value, uh, and the K value for the block work is 1.33, and its thickness in meters is 0 0.102, which is 102 millimeters. So we have the thickness then. So the resistivity is the thickness divided by the K value. So it's 0 0.102 divided by 1.33. It gives us 0 0.076. Next we have the urethane insulation. And uh, again the symbol is K for the K value. And uh, the K value of the urethane insulation is 0 0.025. So you can see it's much lower. Okay, so the lower the K value. Uh, the more resistance it has to the heat passing through it. So for example, the block work is quite high, the K value is quite high in the block work, it's 1.33. So that would obviously uh, allow uh, heat to pass through it fairly, uh, fairly quickly, whereas with the insulation, it has a much lower K value of 0 0.025. So uh, the heat would pass through it much slower. So next, uh, then we have the thickness of the insulation, and in this case it's 0 0.080, which is 80 millimeters. So we divide the thickness by the K value and gives us the total resistivity. 
Next we have the cavity space. Again, this is uh, the air resistance. Okay, RA, the symbol is RA for air resistance. And again, it's just the total resistivity there, which is taken as uh, 0.176. Then we have the brickwork. The K value of the brickwork is 0.77. It has uh, more resistance to heat passing through it than the block wall, but obviously a lot less resistance uh, to heat passing through it than the insulation. The thickness of the brick wall again is 0 0.102, 102 mil. Divide this by the uh, K value, it gives us the total resistivity there of 0 0.132. Lastly there we have the outer space, the outer surface, sorry, which is the outer resistance. And again, that's just 0 0.123. So then we have our totals there, so we add these all up and we get a total of 3.855. So the total resistivity for this particular wall, okay, is 3.855. So R is equal to 3.855. So calculating the U value. So as we saw before, the formula for calculating the U value is 1 divided by R, which gives the U value. So this is 1 divided by 3.855 will give us the U value. So therefore U is equal to 0 0.259 watts per meter squared degree Celsius. So the U value for this wall is 0 0.256 watts per meter squared degree Celsius. So the U value is 0.256. Now part L of the new building regulations 2003 states that all walls in new buildings should have a U value no greater than uh, 0 0.27 watts per meter square degree Celsius. So obviously this uh, falls uh, within the building regs. This U value is used to work out the total heat loss in a building. And from this, uh, we can work out the number of radiators required to heat a room uh, or a building. Remember, the lower the U value, uh, the better the heat insulation. The lower the U value, the better the heat insulation. Questions. State the formula for finding out a U value. State what a K value is. In conclusion, Part L of the building regulations deal with term and insulation. Advantages of good insulation are reduction in heat loss, lower fuel costs, lower costs for heating equipment, reduction in condensation and drafts, less maintenance costs of heating equipment, and conservation of diminishing fossil fuel reserves, such as coal and oil. A, view, a U value is a unit of measurement which determines the amount of heat loss per meter squared through part of the building. A lower U value is better. The formula for finding out a U value is 1 divided by R. A K value is the resistance a material has to heat passing through it.